bad packaging will come up eventually for you. In case in point, here's the packaging for a 16th century manuscript. That's oh. three vellum manuscripts shoved into a very thin envelope, no bubble wrap, no craft paper, nothing at all. Okay. Would you be surprised that somehow they were undamaged though? Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I would be surprised too. And this is the sort of thing that can make or break your business as a bookseller. Packaging is key. Always use boxes when you're shipping a book or anything that's over 100 years old. If I know why people don't want to put objects into boxes, yeah. especially when they sell overseas. It's to save the shipping uh, costs. That's all because, it is at the end of the day. Yeah. Obviously, some of the books were damaged. Many of them were not. But one of my friends was happy enough to point out, oh yeah, with those books bumping and rubbing, you can definitely be assured that all of them suffered some sort of nominal damage.